Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am participating in a card hop and hop, a year of fun themes and techniques. This month of March, we're bringing you glitter or gilding flakes and a birthday theme. So if you want to keep hopping along with us, you'll find the link to the next person in the hop down below in my description box. But let's get into today's card. So I am choosing to do glitter because I do not know a lot about gilding flakes, so I'm excited to hop along as well to learn a little bit more about gilding flakes. But for today's card, I'm going to be bringing in a few glittery things and making this card very shiny and very glittery. But as you can see, I'm using a stencil and I'm using the pops of color to add some glitter. So the pops of color are from scrapbook.com and they have a few glittery ones. I have four glittery ones. I believe they just came out with some more glittery ones. They also have a glaze version, but for today I'm using the silver, the glitter silver, the glitter snowflake, the glitter champagne, and the glitter gold. And you can see that I'm just using this longer slimline stencil that I actually created a while back with my Silhouette Cameo machine and some stencil material that I picked up off Amazon. So I'm just adding these all of these glitters together over the card base to create this wavy design. And honestly, I didn't know where I was going with this. I just wanted to add all of these glittery pops of color together and so I just went with it. I did the design and I did fill it in a little bit more off camera because it was quite a detailed process to get it when it's not super messy. Glitter and gilding flakes I've heard can be quite messy. So if you like that messy process, definitely stick around and hop along with us. Stick to the end of the videos and get all the glittery inspiration. And we would love it if you would like our videos, give us a comment down below, and subscribe along the way if you like the channels you are seeing. And I believe there will be a giveaway on one of the channels, so definitely hop along so that you find out all of that information and can be entered to win in a into a prize draw if there is one. So yes, I'm just adding this glitter glue. It's well pops of color, but it's essentially like a fancy glitter glue. And it is similar to Nouveau Drops or Stickles. They just all do a little bit of something different and more just a preference of which brand you like is you're definitely not going to get a mess of glitter. The glitter stays on. Glitter overwhelms me when it comes off. So this is a fun way to do that. And I will be adding a little bit more glitter as we go along but just stick with me through this process. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is the first time I am participating in this particular hop. So it's been really fun to be challenged to create in these very specific themes. Glitter and birthday and all of that, super, super fun. It's definitely fun to be challenged in the things that you love to do. So I would challenge you to um, to try and create with our themes as well after you've hopped along, or maybe it inspires you to do another technique. We hope that you are inspired to create and to get crafty after you've watched these videos too. We want to spark creativity and joy along the way and share what we love to do with you. So I'm just adding all of these colors and I'm looking at this card right now as I do this voiceover and it is so, so shiny. Right now as I'm creating it, it doesn't look like much. And even when I was working on it, I was like, where am I going with this card? Where am I going? Don't give up on your creations. Even if you don't know where they're going, just keep going, keep creating, keep let that, keep allowing that creativity to flow and just finish it because they can turn out okay. Sometimes you have this great idea in your head and it doesn't turn out good, or sometimes you just start creating and it comes out all right. And you like it in the end. Just allow your creativity to be joyful and relaxing and find the joy in it. 
I really love the wavy effect in here as well. I feel like this is a fun, a whimsical, glittery creation. And you could definitely switch up this card. Instead of being a birthday card, something like this could be for anything. A baby card or a thank you card would be very fun to receive. Very glittery, very shiny. And the fun thing about the pops of color as well, not only do you get that glittery effect when you use the glitter ones, you also get that raised effect as well because it's like a glitter glue so yeah so here you go it is all shiny and new and I did go ahead and add a little bit more off camera just to fill in the gaps but now it is all dry definitely leave this to the side to dry for a while it was quite thick but I needed to bring in some more sparkle you know it wasn't too sparkly enough and I took the challenge of sparkly and glittery and so I'm using the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, and I'm adding sparkles into the white background. So you get that clear silvery overlay on the white, and you can't see it on camera very well, but it is there in the light. You definitely see it. It definitely adds to the pops of color glitter and gives a different kind of shine into the background. Definitely could have left it white, but this just added a whole new element of glitter. And why not? So got that glitter on there and spread it all around. And the other great thing about the Spectrum Noir glitter pens or any of those glitter pens on the market is you don't get a lot of mess either. It does come off on your hands a little bit, but nothing overwhelming if you don't like a messy glitter but you like that glitter effect without the mess then and that is a great option all right and then i'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment when all of the glitter is on the background just have to play with the glitter and see how glittery it is first <laughs> so shiny All right, so I'm taking out a birthday stamp set that I have. You could use any sets that you have, your go-to happy birthday sentiment. I needed a small one to fit in here, and I need to go ahead and clean these stamp sets, the stamp set. I use it so often that it is losing its stickiness, so you're going to see me struggle with it a little bit. But a fun tip, if you have clear stamps that are just not sticking to your acrylic blocks or your stamping platforms take them in some soapy water like dish soap and water and put them in there for a quick second and then take a paper towel wipe them off and they're going to stick to your acrylic blocks and stamping platforms way better and they will cling again so stamped that really quickly there with the memento tuxedo black ink and then you see the happy birthday and i could have left this but I have added all of my jewels and embellishments over on my desk and I saw these ones and honestly they matched the colors so well. The silver and the gold of this just matched the pops of color glitter so well. I decided to go ahead and add these in a pattern effect in the curves of the waves and I think it really finished off the card. It gave us another fun element with glitter and this is probably the most glittery card that I have ever made but I really like how it turned out so definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed the process today consider subscribing to my channel and definitely hop along you will find the link to the next person in the description box get more glitter and gilding flakes inspiration along the way because we are not done yet there is more messes and more glitter and more fun to come so yes and if there's any more information that I have missed, it will be down below in the description box for you. But I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.